Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Zafira. I am an international student from Indonesia, currently attending Harvard Graduate School of Education, studying learning design, innovation, and technology. It's been two months since I started my study in Harvard, and I'm excited to show you what my one week looks like here. Enjoy! Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, and I am on my way to the bus stop. So I usually go to campus taking the bus and it's approximately about 30 minutes by bus depending on the traffic and you might think oh that's quite far but honestly it's really easy because I only take one bus ride and the bus stop is only five minute walk away and the next thing you know you're already on campus. So on Mondays I usually leave around this time because I will have a 9am class. And if I take the 8.30 bus, and in the chance that it's delayed, I'm going to be late to class, and that is the last thing I want. That is the bus stop. When you ask me what I usually do on the bus, I usually just read. Um, and it's either casual reading for my entertainment leisure purposes in the morning before I start focusing on classes, or when I miss the readings for the class on that day, or when I want to recall some concepts or theories that I think is going to be relevant for the class discussion, I usually spend my time on the bus reading what we're assigned for the day. This is where I will be having my first class of the day. Hello, it's 10.30 now and I just finished my 9 a.m. class and I have another one that I need to go to later at 1.20, 1.10-ish. Still not sure what the time is, but between that I think I'm gonna have lunch with my friends, so I will introduce you to them. Hello, Greta. My hair looks Hi, Hello, these are my friends and I don't know, we're not getting lunch together, are we? Possibly. Do you want to come? Possibly, okay. I'll let you know. I'm going to heat my food. So the campus has a microwave that we can use, so I'm going to heat up my lunch and then I'm going to go meet my friend for a picnic in this like beautiful yard near campus. Jack is amazing. Yes, okay. Oh, there we go. You did it on your own. Do you like your photos, Allie? Thank you. <laughs> we just did an impromptu photo shoot. And now we are joined by Emma. Hi. A conduit as we get this all set up for you. And we want to help you as you navigate this incredible resource. Of Hi. Hi. We are now doing a study group for a class that we're doing. Okay, so I will look into who among Hugsy people are parents. I am done for the day. Are you? No, definitely not. What are you working on? Um, this is our AI in education assignment. Well, I am done for today and I am going to walk back to the station in 10 minutes. So this has been my Monday. So far, I got here at 9 and I'm going home at 4. We'll see how we do tomorrow, but I'll talk to you all again on Tuesday. See you! So I am currently on my way to Harvard Innovation Lab. I don't have class until 12 p.m. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my work days and I work at the Harvard Innovation Lab as the TA or teaching assistant intern. What I do is fairly simple. I teach students on how to use the equipments that are in the media studio. So if there are students interested in creating podcast, video, any type of media content, they're free to use the studio as much as they like. However, they need to go through a training period with me 
to make sure that they'll be able to understand how to use the equipment just fine. If you can see this building behind me, that is Harvard Business School. So the Harvard Innovation Lab is sometimes used to also hold classes for students from the business school. Good morning. I'm good. I am. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> yeah, there we go. See you. So we are right now at the media studio and I just finished training one fellow student who apparently was the CEO of this amazing, like huge company. And I think that's, that's like the thing about being in Harvard that I didn't really that I knew would probably happen, but didn't expect to what extent. But you kind of meet everyone here. And I think that that is such a privilege. And it really does remind you again and again, the scale of the education that you're getting and the social capital, cultural capital that you're getting out of, for me, just one year, so. It's kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> so this is the media studio. And mostly people are here for the podcast. For lunch today, I am eating Japanese curry, also vegetables and salmon that I cooked in teriyaki sauce. Very happy with my teriyaki sauce. And also, white rice and I am kind of upset because I forgot my chopstick so I took these plastic compostable fork and spoon from the cafeteria so one of the reasons why I prefer making my own lunch and eating it on campus rather than going to the cafeteria is because as much as they try to accommodate for different dietary requirements and dietary restrictions so they have vegetarian food, vegan food, salad bar, um, gluten-free food. They don't necessarily have food that are labeled as halal. And because of that, to me, that's just immediately, you know what, I'll just make my own food that I know will be prepared in ways that I'm comfortable with, with ingredients that I'm comfortable using. And for people with allergies, you might be able to relate with me on this, but because over the past five years I've been living in Japan and have been accustomed to avoiding meat that are not halal or not prepared in a certain way that I'm comfortable with, I did not find it as a hardship to make my own food on a day-to-day -day basis. And I know that depending on who you ask and depending on who you talk to, there are certain scholars who would say, oh, meat in the UK and in America are halal and it's okay for you to eat because et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I find that I'm more comfortable just avoiding them altogether because I have been doing that previously and don't feel like it's a hardship to go pescatarian or vegetarian when I go out. Obviously, I still eat meat, but I would only do that if we are going to a halal restaurant or if I prepare them on my own and I know that they are halal from the label and I prepare them by myself. Um, so yeah, that's I guess one thing about the US and about Harvard that I thought could do a little better because when I was in Japan, in the cafeteria in Osaka University, you would find menu that are specifically labeled as halal and you can tell that they're certified um, there's no mixing happening in the kitchen so i felt really comfortable just going to the cafeteria and getting these food i wish they have that here maybe they do maybe i just haven't explored enough but because of that i prefer to make my own food and that's just my quick review of my experience as a muslim person who eats halal being in harvard I'm sharing this class with Jack. Yeah. We're always doing things together. I know. Yeah. We're, we're right. great friends. This is so fun. This is what happens in the Graduate School of Education. <laughs> Hello. What time is it right now? 5.59. Okay. It's 5.59 now and I'm currently sitting outside at Radcliffe Yard with my beautiful friends. And I'm going to be here until maybe like 6. 45 and then 
go to dinner with my friends. Hello everyone. Hello. I'm currently eating in this cafe with Kansa. Hi Kabina, do you wanna say hi? And also Kasarina. <laughs> hi. But I am going to end my vlog for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Good morning. I am currently waiting for the bus to come and since I decided to take the 837 bus instead of the 807 bus that I usually take, there's a huge chance I am going to be late to class considering it's already 8.38 and the bus has not arrived. Harvard Station. Look at how blue the sky is. And I am officially going to be late for class. But the weather is so nice, so I will be taking my time walking to class. <sighs> so beautiful. Hi everyone, I just finished with class and I'm currently sitting with Laura. Hi! <laughs> what are we doing? We are trying to book tickets to go home yes. at some point. At some point. Um, but flights are very expensive. Very expensive. Where is home? Where are you thinking of flying to? Uh, flying to Perth in Australia. And since I'm also flying halfway across the world, I can relate. So we need to get tickets ASAP before it gets even more expensive. I have work at 1 p.m. today at the iLab and then later at 3.30ish. So that is where I'm going and I am currently waiting for the Harvard shuttle. I just finished training my last student and I wanted to show you something amazing that I think everyone should invest in. So this is called the portable bidet and you use this to clean yourself after you do number one or number two. And the way it works is you pull this down and then this creates an empty tube that you can fill in with water, which I will do. Now that this part is filled with water, once you're done peeing, you can pull this down and then you can press this button and water is going to spray from these tiny holes over here. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? My best friends got this for me before I came here because they know that I have to clean myself with water and they know that while Japan has to be everywhere, they don't have it in the US. And so I think this is the greatest invention ever. I am officially done with schoolwork on this fine Wednesday and it makes me so happy to be done at 6 p.m. I am going to lie down a little and then continue with the rest of my schoolwork that I need to prepare for tomorrow, do some readings. I will be ending my Wednesday vlog here. Thank you so much for everyone and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Hello everyone, it is now 12 p.m. and I am done with all of my meetings and I am ready to go to campus. On Thursdays, I only have one class in total, which is from 1.30 to 4 p.m. And after that, I will be having an event with the Indonesian student in Harvard, which I am hoping to take you to later. So before I leave, since I have quite some time before I need to catch the bus, I wanted to show you what's in my bag when I go to campus. And today is a little bit different because I'm not bringing my lunchbox, but I thought I would show you. By the way, I have been vlogging in the past three days and posting photos on Instagram. 
a lot of people have been asking what this bag is or where this is from. So this bag is from Teddy Blake and this is the Kate series 15 inches. And so it fits your computer, it fits your iPad and it's really nice for a day-to-day -day basis. The first item is my iPad, which you have seen in the past few days. The next item is my water bottle. And I usually don't have it filled when I go to campus because I don't want it to be too heavy. And um, in our building in the Graduate School of Education, they have a water dispenser. So I usually just fill it up on campus. And then I also have my portable bidet that I have shown you yesterday. And lastly, I also have my name card. And on a sunny day, I usually also wear shades on the way to campus. So I also have that in my bag over here. The Kate series has two pockets and I use one pocket for stationery. So my Apple Pencil or just Smart Pencil, highlighter, pencil, pen, lipstick. And I also use that pocket to keep my charger that I always, always bring to campus. And for the other pocket, it's usually for other type of essentials, such as Vaseline over here. And then I also have my pads and it's also where I keep my wallet. And so that is what I have in my bag when I go to campus. Another thing that I love about the Teddy Blake Kate series bag is that it is high quality leather and it gives off this professional vibe that I think is appropriate if I wanna meet professors, advisors, mentors. And I do think that it is high time for me to be a bit more professional now that I'm in grad school. Um, one thing though that I do think you should know about if you're thinking of getting this bag is it's on the heavier side so for some people it might not be the most comfortable bag to carry every single day to campus it's really a choice that you make personally i have been fine carrying this because i don't bring that much to campus anyway so that is one thing that you might want to consider if you're thinking of getting yourself a teddy blake bag i'm gonna go to campus now bye <laughs> to attack or address the bottom of the bucket. You Good afternoon, everyone. I just finished class and I thought I could bring you along to check out the prayer room on campus. This is our prayer room. Ta-da! And no one is here right now. Ta-da! So this is the prayer room. There's flip flop over there that you can use to take wudu. There's a Quran. There's also the Bible. So anyone can use this space, although it's usually used by the Muslim students. But yeah, so if you're as a Muslim worried about not having space to pray on campus, I'd like to tell you not to worry because there is. At least in the Graduate School of Education, there's also a nice prayer room in the Graduate School of, in the Kennedy School. And then there's also a prayer room at the Smith Center. So there are about seven to eight prayer rooms around campus. I'm not entirely sure the location of each one. So that's my mission to hunt down every single one and let you know which one is best. Good morning, everyone. Friday Mubarak. I am currently sitting here waiting for the bus to come and I was supposed to take the 807 bus but I decided to give myself a little time to breathe this morning so I am waiting for the 837 knowing the fact that I again might be late but <laughs> it's a Friday. I think we all deserve to have a little breather on a Friday. But I'm here with my pandan cake that I stocked yesterday after the event so I have two more in my bag. So this is going to be my breakfast, my brunch, and my lunch. But no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go home early today, so I will be making food and eating food at home. And then I might get dinner with my friends, so I'll show you what that's going to look like, hopefully. Uh, is here to help us. And in person for the first time, we have Phil. 
Post Friday prayer snack with Melika. <laughs> that was a good shot of you just going. <gasps> How was it? Very good. What are we eating? Takoyaki. I miss takoyaki so much. And every time I tell people that, the first question I get is, what is takoyaki? Not for me. Not for Emma. Emma knows mm -hmm. my kind of food. Mm -hmm. I'm currently at Emma's and we are going to make dinner. We're going to make Japanese food and then we are going to hang out for the rest of the night. This is where I'm going to end my vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the rest of the week. And I hope that this video has been informational for you. If you need any questions answered about my life at Harvard or what it feels like to be a Muslim in Harvard, just let me know. Write down your questions in the comment section down below and I hope to answer them sometime in the future. Bye! Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Bye! Bye!